Hi! Evie, how are you? Why is your face like this? What is it? You wanna really messed up. Like I really, really messed up. Okay, but please sit down. Sit down first. I uh, prefer standing. Ify, I need you to understand that whatever it is, you can always talk to me. I am your friend, your best friend, and I'll forgive you for anything. John, I'm pregnant. You, you, you're pregnant? So I'm going to be an auntie. Auntie Joan, really? Sit down now and give me the gist. Give me everything. But you know, you're not supposed to get pregnant out of wedlock. Is he ready to marry you? I've not told him about it yet. Why? Uh, because... I don't know how to say this. Please forgive me. Okay, because fine. Listen. I know you must be afraid of, you know, being a single mom, everything that comes with pregnancy, but I am here. Auntie Joanne is here. And if you need my help, I will help you with the litigation process for you to sue his ass. All right? It's your husband. <laughs> Nollywood actress. Stop it, okay? Don't be a joke now. I'll get you mineral. I'm serious. What? Mr. Maxwell was here yesterday after he left the office. I told him to visit back today. Um, it must be about the drainage system we talked about. Okay, um, just tell him to use 6 inches pipe instead of the 4 inches pipe we discussed. And no need for him to visit me again tomorrow. You can just inspect whatever he's doing, okay? Okay, sir. You can go. One more thing, sir. Don't forget you'll be at the radio house today around 3 for the program on entrepreneurship. Yeah, I almost forgot about that program. Mm. Okay, just prepare all the necessary documents that I might be using, okay? And make sure you remind me again by 2.30. I will, sir. Thank you. <clears throat>
How dare you? How dare you? Baby. Hmm? What's that for? Oh, sh shush it, please. Just shut up. You got what? What is that thing you got? Oh, you got something to bribe me, right? Oh my God. How is it that I did not know the man I've been married to? Really? Of all the girls in this world, you saw no other person than my best friend. Your best friend? What are you talking about? Lie one more time, you monkey, and I will strangle you to death. Wait, can you just calm down? What is is, is this? A, is this a prank or what? Are you, are you trying to play games with me? What's going on? I was about to tell you that I got a test in the office. Some lady saying I got her pregnant. I tried calling the number, but it wasn't connecting. Just what is going on? Trying to say that you do not know that Ifeinwa is pregnant for you. What? Mm -hmm. Ifeinwa, your best friend. Mm -hmm. Pregnant. For Day you lie to my wife. Do you want to wreck my home? I'm sorry. What does it prove? It's real. I'm pregnant. He's done my business. Ify, I can only sleep with you to get you pregnant. And I can't remember doing that. Sam, this baby is yours. You should, should shut up. See, okay, maybe one low life got you pregnant. And he denied it. So now you want to pin it on me. Why? I'm not lying. You know what? Just go. No, see, you know what's good for you? Is that you go tell my wife that I'm not responsible for this pregnancy. Because if I come back here again, I won't be this friendly. What kind of a human being are you?
I don't know whether you go come sleep on my bunk since my dad no grey open door for you. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just go back to your unit. Oga, I don't feel go back. The mosquito. Oga, no only me know which they pass through for this place. Mosquito, we did this compound too much. And I don't want me to bite you because if they bite you, you go sick. Oga, I don't want to make anything do my salary. So, sorry, I don't want to make anything do you. We be first. Huh? Just go. See, Oga, now six by six mattress now I get for my room. Uh, the only thing there we say yesterday night I see bed bug there. But this morning I kill him. And I sure say no one did there again. Oga, can, you, can, can you give me space? Oga. And you just open the gates. Eh? Oga? This night? No, 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 Oga. Uh, on gone known men. They fool everywhere, Oga. Sorry. Oga? Okay. I mean, why would she believe her friend without confirming from you first? James, honestly, I, I don't know. Like, it seems like I've lost my wife. Jonita locked me out in anger. Don't you think I should talk to her? No, no, no. There'll be no need for that. I don't want to provoke her the more. I'll just pass the night in the hotel. I believe by tomorrow she must have come down. Hmm. But if he is cruel, I must say. I mean, why would she do something like that? She doesn't look like someone who is desperate. I must tell you, I'm so disappointed. Well, uh, see. James, I know that I'm, I am desperately in need of a child. Like I want to carry my own baby, by all means. But even if I want to sleep with another woman, it wouldn't be my wife's best friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what am I even saying? I can never cheat on Jonita. I can never, not in this life, for any reason. This is crazy, I must tell you. Like, it's really crazy. I've never seen her this angry. Never. Wilbur Force! Wilbur Force! Where is my husband? Oga don't drive, come out. Since afternoon, where Oga there, they knock door. Nobody. Where the force? Ma. When I traveled to Asaba, did any woman come here looking for my husband? Ah, ah. Woman, what? Ma, Oga no day into a shower walk. I know they do any. Like Answer that. my question, please. Sorry, ma. Woman, no come. Where the force? Are you sure? Madam, no all woman come this compound. Though. Not be this door. I don't know. Yeah, I did now. I don't see woman. Get out.
There is nothing for you to explain to me, all right? I am leaving you. I am leaving this house. Babe, honestly, I didn't sleep with your best friend. Nothing happened between us. I don't know why she's doing this. I can do it, honestly. <laughs> I have known Ifeiwa for years. I have known her for years. She will never, ever Use this kind of thing to tell a lie. Do you understand me? You ruined us. You wrecked this marriage. You destroyed everything we've ever shared. Honey, how do you expect me to admit to something I didn't do? To the best of my knowledge, I did not sleep with your friend. Just give me time. I'm going to prove this. I don't know why she's, she's doing this whole thing. I can't understand it, but give me time. I will figure it out, please. You failed us. You really, really did. Babe, just some time to prove to you that I'm innocent. Just give me time, please. I love you. I don't want to lose you, please. What do you want? Alice, can I come in? So this is how we want to paint this? Really? How could you pin the pregnancy on him? James, you know what happened that night, don't you? Oh, you didn't do anything, did you? Come on, Ify, come on. At least you shouldn't have taken this to his wife. Who should I have taken it to? You? So, talking to his wife first, you don't think he's right? If I'm disappointed, I must tell you. Treat yourself. Do you realize that their marriage will soon be over if you don't refute what you told Junita? Do you have any idea? How am I supposed to lie for what I know is the truth? <laughs> Listen to me, Fee. You better know what you're doing. 
You better know what you're doing. We are talking about my friend's marriage here. Tell your so-called friend what he needs to know. James, just leave my house. Leave. James, leave. You disgust me. Samuel, I will appreciate you don't call me babe again. You know my name. My name is Juanita. Address me as that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, honey, but I just... Oh, please, just shut up. What are you even trying to say? Listen to me. I give you three days. Three days for you to prove to me that my friend was lying, okay? Babe. What's wrong with you? What is it, please? I give you three days. If not, I will leave this house and I'm going to live your life. I couldn't think of a better thing to do the moment I found out. So I thought it wise to let you know about it first. <laughs> Ify, I hope on your last days you remember that I was good to you. That I am your sister. I cared about you. I still do. But no. You just choose to mess my life up. You choose to disappoint me. You choose to see me cry. <laughs> Why? I wish there was a better way to apologize to you. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I'm so sorry, Joan. So sorry. Why did you do it? It was a mistake? It was a mistake? If it is that a mistake? So you could not see anyone. There was no other person to make this kind of mistake with other than my husband. My own husband! What is wrong with you? Okay, now at home, Sam is denying everything that you're here saying nonsense. Tell me, who, who am I supposed to believe? Who? God. I wish, I wish Sam was right. I wish all this never happened. Maybe she just see my sister. Leave me alone, I am not your sister. If he, I can never ever be your sister, not anymore. I can't even be friends with a treacherous person like you. What is please? What is please? How would you feel 
even if you wear the one. Something is wrong with you. You are mad. <laughs> you are mad if something is wrong with you. You. It's a very wrong idea denying your husband sex. I told you this before. Yes, you're right. It's not like I don't regret my actions, but this is just a command from the prophet, and all we're doing is for the sake of our unborn kids. No matter what, Julia, the man in question is your husband. You have been unreasonable denying him sex. You know it. Let me ask you, why are you sounding like you don't know about this whole thing? Why are you sounding like you don't even know how all this thing started? You know it's for our own good. Oh, really? I know. I know it's for your own good, but look at where it's got you. It hasn't even been proven yet that my husband slept with her. Maybe all this is just, you know, something she's been cooking up just to destroy my home. It's possible. Well, I am, I am sure that even as you're making this statement, you know it's not true. I blamed you for this. It's not your husband's fault. It's your fault. And I told you. Please, when you're done eating, let me know if you need another thing. No problem. Just shut up. I'm cheering up, but the manner in which you're talking to me, I just don't like it. You're acting as if you don't know anything that has been happening. Of course I know, but I just want to give you advice as a friend, not much. Woman. Yes, Prophet. You have boys and girls for your husband. Amen. Amen, Prophet. But this is taking too long. It's my three years in marriage now, and I'm beginning to get worried. The good Lord said, you will have children for the man you call your husband. Amen. But, they will die mysteriously. God forbid. Mm. All of them. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. But prophet, why would you say such a thing? Because, it is what I see here. The future, but it can be stopped from happening if you pay attention to what I am going to say to you now. Prophet, I, I, I am listening. I am ready. I am ready to listen, to do whatever it is that you want me to do. I don't want my kids to die. Please. Your husband has been possessed by an ancestral spirit which he inherited from his late father. He is not to have a child of his own till death. Mm. You have to fast for 90 days. Nin 90 days? Yes, 90 days to cleanse your husband. Wow. I, I pray I'm able to do this. Focus on the reason you're doing this, and that will be enough. What is why? I'm not in the mood. Seriously? What do you mean you're not in the mood? You've been saying this thing for the past two weeks. Can't I have sex with my wife anymore? 
Baby, I'm not saying you cannot have sex with your wife. All I'm just saying is that I am praying. I have my Bible here, I'm praying. Oh, and I was told to abstain from the pleasures of the flesh. Please now, try and understand. Pleasures of the flesh. So you're saying no sex? Baby, I'm not saying no sex. All I'm just saying is that now we're saying our prayers. You're supposed to join me. Let's just seek the face of God and then know how things will unfold. Please. Good night. You for them to unfold. Baby. Baby. It's for our own good. You should sleep fine. I love you. Baby, stop sighing. concerned about giving me a child. You know I'm not complaining, right? Honey, I don't need to wait for you to start complaining before I seek for solutions. We've tried several medical options and all of them failed. That's why I'm seeking the face of God since it's the only way out. Well, honey, I, I suggest we adopt a child from an orphanage. I just want you to be busy and learn how to raise a child. So when God finally remembers us, it's going to be easy for you to raise our own kids. That's my own opinion. Honey, I cannot have sex with you for the next 90 days. I'm sorry. We both should be seeking for a way out of this than discussing adoption. I am not interested, so take it out from your table of options, please. Jonita, sex in marriage is not a sin. I mean, I don't see anything wrong in adopting a child. I mean, it's not like you're not going to have your own child someday. I don't want to take care of another woman's child. Where is this other woman? I mean, she's probably dead or on the run. For her to leave her child in an orphanage home. There's nothing to be scared about. Do I look like I'm scared? No, tell me, do I look like I'm scared? I am not. I just don't want to take care of another woman's child. I prefer waiting on God. Juan, what? See, you don't need to pressure me, okay? Try not to, because it's not going to work. It's never going to happen. Eat up. Okay. Uh uh. You should tell me something else. Ify. How was the trip? How was it? What trip? Ify, how was the okay, trip? Okay, fine. Just. Mm, I have a lot of gist for you. Thank you. You know that guy? Mm -hmm. Father, this is me again. Father, this is me again. I come to you, Heavenly Father. I ask for the forgiveness of sin, Father. Father, in any way that I have offended you, be it by the words of my mouth, be it by my actions, O oh Lord, Father, I pray that you forgive me. Father, with the blood you shed on the cross of Calvary, O oh Lord, wash me. Begin to cleanse me. Begin to cleanse me, O oh Lord. Begin to cleanse me, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, King of glory, I know that from here, that my foot is laid on this ground, O oh Lord. My prayers have been answered in heaven because you said that whatever it is we bind here on earth is being bound in heaven, O oh Lord. 
Heavenly Father, be thou glorified. Heavenly Father, be thou praised. Heavenly Father, be thou... Jesus, I love you. It is me. It is me, your daughter. Father, I need something from you. You said I should ask and I shall receive. Father, it is me. I ask for the fruit of the womb. You said we should speak out, O oh Lord, that you would definitely grant our good heart desires. Father, children are from you. Father, you said when you made Adam and Eve, they should multiply, O oh Lord. Father, you even said when man and a woman comes together, O oh Lord, that we should multiply. Father, we have done that. Right now, I need you to bless me just like you blessed Virgin Mary in the Bible. Heavenly Father, with the Holy Spirit, I begin to... Father, please, I am begging. Whatever it is that is going to be a hindrance to all that I've asked for, please reveal to me. Let me make amends. I know that I'm a queen, and I know my husband is the king. This and all is everything that I ask for. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. Babe, what's going on? Is it now the new normal that I won't be having breakfast in my house before going to work? Honey, it's the new normal. But it's just for the meantime. You need to just adjust. What do you mean by I need to adjust? Adjust how? You know I don't eat out. Baby, but I'm not saying you should eat out. I am not. Please, I just want you to join me in this prayer and fasting oh. so that, you know, we seek the face of God and the miracles of the Almighty what God. What miracle are you talking about? Juan, why are you doing this to us? You are wrecking this marriage. You know the nature of my job, and you're asking me to fast. I'm disappointed. Mm -hmm. I am disappointed. Devil, get behind me. I am covered with your precious blood. My heart is never going to be stained. My senses are never going to be stained. Sam, hmm? you were sleeping all day in the office. What's going on? Bro, I couldn't sleep last night. Why? It's my wife. Juanita prays every midnight. Not just the prayer is my problem, more. but she prays so loud that she disturbs me <laughs> and the entire neighbors. Honestly, if that continues, I'm going to run away. Because if I don't run away, I'll run insane. Ah. Forgive me, I'm sorry. It's not funny, man. It's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame the lady. Oh, her fault. She's looking for a child. You're obviously sounding like my wife. <laughs> like she doesn't listen. Bro, if it continues, I'm going to leave the house for her. Why can't I sleep in my own house? <laughs> oh, man. I know this is not funny. I feel your pain, bro. <laughs> but I love that girl. I know how you feel. I can only imagine. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I should have called before I showed up. It's fine. Come on, have a seat. Thank you. So, what can I offer you? Nothing, I'm fine. I actually want to discuss something with you. Okay. Um, if, um, 
is about my wife. You know, for a while now, your your friend have refused to. You know now. Yeah, she has you know, refused making love with me. Yeah. As if that's not enough, you know. She she now disturbed my night rest with this constant midnight prayers. Um, not like um, I'm against prayers, but you know, she's so loud when she she does it. Like she sings so loud, like she can wake the whole neighbors. I can't get enough night rest in my own house. It's crazy. Wow. Wow, this is so unlike Junita. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it's strange. Uh, I've never seen her in this farm. I've never. Please, you just help me and talk to her. You know, you can do the, you know, just use the best of magic on her. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, I'll talk to her. Okay? okay. And if you need anything, you can still call me. Okay. Yeah, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Right. Just you sure you don't want anything? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I have a bowl. I trust you, but I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Hope you know you're at the verge of breaking your marriage if you continue doing this. Excuse me? My husband spoke to you? Really? Someone I'm trying to save. Why do you believe so much in this prophet that you're willing to do everything to get pregnant and not to give your husband children that would die? Now you tell me, is that not a more reason for me to keep praying? Is that not? See, Ify, I know my husband. I know he doesn't believe in all these prophets and he's not ready to go seek for solutions. That's it. So me, I will continue praying, seeking for solutions, just like I've been doing. I know, but you're overdoing it. Can't you see? You might lose your husband, though. With the way you're going, you might lose your husband. Don't I not want you? You know, men, they behave like okra. They just slip out of your hand like that. Why did my husband tell you? That's my problem. Juan, it's not, it's not, it's not that serious, especially the sex part. It's not that serious. Just... Ah. I don't understand this. No, please tell me. Why will you go reporting me to my friend Ify? Tell me why. Eh? Because it's about time someone gets to understand what I'm passing through in my own house. Soon I'll be reporting you to your mother. Yes. Do you do you realize that everything I've been doing is because of you? Do you? No, do you realize that you've been making life a living hell for me? Do you? I don't know if you were told by someone or something, but I cannot continue to be disturbed in my own house. No, it's not happening. Samuel, you disappoint me. No, you disappoint me. Yes. See, I can't recognize you anymore. Juan. You need to stop this nonsense. Because if you continue, I'm going to leave this house for you. It's on a period. <laughs> it's on a period. You are welcome, my daughter. Look, I'm not here for all this your prophetic nonsense. My friend John is on the verge of losing her marriage because of what you told her. She's only doing what's right for her and her husband. Her children will definitely die in their numbers if she doesn't. How will you know for sure? You're not her god. Did you come here to insult me or what? Look, 
I am an ordained prophet of God and I know my words. Just because I choose to associate myself with people does not mean you should insult me. I know my words and I know my union. You can also know your magi and your time, I don't care. Just know that you're responsible for anything that happens to my friend or her marriage. Better call her to rectify whatever thing you've told her. She's on the verge of losing her mom. What is wrong with you? Then let him go. After all, 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, We should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Even Psalm 11 says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. Her husband is a sinner, so he can leave the marriage if he wants to. The salvation of her soul should be more important to her than any other thing. Look, I, I not come here to banter words with you. My friend's marriage must not crash, else you will see my kind of person. Are you threatening me? No, it's a promise. Lord, Kelly Baba Sara de Borodoba, Shady Baba and Mamba, Lord Gibara Rasataleba, Restana Baraguda, Dari Baraba Sadara, Matari Baragara Modu Sada, Mantari Bagara Borosodobara, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, visit me and my family, visit me and my family this minute, oh Lord, visit me and my family this minute, oh Lord, Robos Carabara Baba 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 you. It is me again, your daughter. It is me again, your daughter. Joan! Uh -uh. 
John, please come. Come, come. Please come. Let's, let's go and what? bring him in. Relax. What is it? Let's go and bring him inside. Bring who inside? What are you talking about? I found your husband at the bar and he was dead drunk, so I decided to bring him back home. You think what? You found my husband? Yes. Sam, in yes. the bar. Yes. And you decided to bring him back home? Yes. Drunk. What was I supposed to do? Leave me alone, this girl. What is it? What, you, what were you supposed to do? Leave him there. Leave him at that spot. Excuse you. Excuse you. You heard me. Take him back and leave him there. Don't bring him to my house. What has gotten into you? Where do you want him to stay? If I will not have you come into my house and insult me. I was saying my prayers and you came knocking at my door to disturb me. Take him back. Where about first? John, what is... Where about first? This woman will leave here this minute and I want you to lock the gate behind her. Don't open it again. Come on. John, are you okay? They go now. Oh, go, go, go. oh. So what do you do? I should be asking you. I'm just very disappointed in my friend, Joan. Like, I'm very, very disappointed. I cannot even recognize her anymore. It's quite a pity Sam married a terrible person. Please. What, what is him? We need to help him. Let's take him to the hotel. Hotel? Yeah. And you think they will allow us in? <laughs> Especially the way he looks. They will think that we've done something to him and want to dump him there. Okay, so what do we do now since we can't take him to the hotel? Why don't you take him to your house? You're talking as if you don't know. I just did my child presentation yesterday. My in-laws are still at my place. They're not gone yet. Right. So, um... Why not take him to your own place? Excuse you. If my you place. Have, you have nobody staying with you for now. Sam will be very, very happy having a peaceful night rest, even if it's just this once at your place. If you please help me and help him. James. I'm begging you, please. Good morning, what is it? Ah. Madam, I say, make a first of all, come report give you before I go go police station where they go now. What are you going to report to the police? Ah, ah. Oga na, Oga, Oga no come back last night too. And uh, me, I did very worried. This kind thing never happened for this house before. So, uh, I say before I go go police station, go report, I say make a come meet you. Explain, give you first. Is this why you came in here? Is this why you came to disturb me? Um, Madam, you mean say 
you no go go report for police station. Get out. Ah. Okay, no come back. If he like, he shouldn't come back. Whenever he's done outside, he can come back home. Rubbish. Good morning. Try this, you'll feel better. Really headache. How, how did I get here? You passed out at the bar and I brought you here on the advice of your friend James. Why didn't you take me home? I did, but your wife locked you out because you were drunk. Oh God, God. Uh, she must be so disappointed in me. I. I made a promise that I will not take alcohol again, but she, she pushed me into this. Uh, you, you really need to rest. You, that's why you need to take this. No, I, I need to get home. My head is banging. What if she locks you out again? Okay. Okay, let me just, let me just go to a hotel. I, I don't want to inconvenience anybody. You are not inconveniencing me. Okay? I just want you to be all right. Really? Look, I'm I'm so sorry for what you're going through right now. Okay? So just take this. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I'll just make you something to eat. I know you must be very hungry by now. You have to take it easy, you know. Uh, I've not had a decent meal for days. Why? You know, my wife insisting we fast, knowing the nature of my job that I leave very early and I return late. That means you've been starving. Not really. I, I'm not really into roadside food, so I just stick to snacks and soft drinks and water. <laughs> That's too bad. You're married and you're living like a bachelor. Now you know why I've been complaining. <laughs> Anyways, I I need to go freshen up. Enjoy your meal. And um, please take it easy before you choke. <laughs>
think it's time for you to leave my house and go back to your wife. Oh, God. Uh, we had a lot to drink last night. Uh, I don't even know when I passed out. Wait, Ooh. you don't remember what happened last night? Uh, I do. I, I was with you. Um, James, then James left, and I was discussing with you, still drinking, and I guess that was when I passed out. It, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. What's going on? Talk to me. Nothing. Your wife has been calling me, so you need to go home. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let me go get my stuff. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. Where are you coming from? Really? Like you care? What? What's the meaning of this? What do you mean by uh, like I care? See, you need to stop this, so you really need to stop it. My girlfriend, Ifeinwa, brought you back yesterday drunk. And what did you do? You asked them to take me back to wherever I was coming from. See, Juanita, I don't know what has gotten into your head, but whatever it is, I, Samuel Ndufwe, I don't care anymore. Just let me be. I should let you be. Yes. Since you've decided to be so unreasonable, let me be. Wow. Babe, please, babe, baby. Baby, please, just hold on. I don't want to lose my marriage. I don't want to lose my wife. Though Joanne has been annoying, but she has been herself since this prayer thing stopped. Okay, have you taken your time to ask Sifi? Honestly, I have a countless times. But she keeps maintaining that the pregnancy is mine. Bro, I want to ask. What really happened that night when we were at Ife's house? Well, all I can tell you is that we had a lot to drink and... Man, I can't remember. Come on, bro. James, you were with me. I was hoping you'd tell me the truth. Sammy, I just told you the truth. James, when I woke up, you're already gone. Talk to me, bro, because I can't remember what happened that night. Sammy, I just wish I know what you want me to tell you. Because I've told you the truth. I don't know what happened after I left the house. You left? Without me? Bro, you know there's no way your wife would have allowed you in in that drunken state. I said with my wife. She wouldn't allow me in with you. Then what the hell happened that night? Why is no one talking to me? Will be false. Hey. Hey, hey. What? What? 
God, what's wrong with you? What is, where am I going? I am leaving you so that you can bring in that woman of your choice. The woman that is pregnant for you. Hey, believe me. I, I don't know what happened between you. You don't know what happened. Are you serious? Just shut up! I'm sorry. No, no, they, not I didn't, what? I didn't do anything with the oh, really? I swear, nothing happened between us. Shut up! You wanted it, and you did it, and she's pregnant for you, so you deal with it. I cannot stay with a man who got my friend pregnant just to spite no, me. No, no, you, leave me alone. Shut up. Don't love me anything. Leave me. Leave me alone. I'm going to blow you. I'll hit you. I'm going to hit you. Oh, really? You just could not wait for me to leave this house before bringing your promiscuous self here. Ify, how could I have not known? Why didn't I even know that this is all you've ever wanted but you pretended? Really? Now, don't worry. I am leaving him. You can have Selma for all I care. You can! Okay? John, I'm sorry for everything that happened. I don't want your man or anything that has to do with your man. What happened to just a mistake? Shut up! Okay, if you want to shut up, nothing happened between us. Nothing happened. Okay? Uh, um, um, Sami, it's the truth. I was with you that night in her place. Okay, do I let her left? She has told me everything that happened. Shut, shut, shut up, James. Nothing happened. Okay? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say the truth, Sami. What truth? You raped her. You forcefully had sex with her out of your drunkenness. Though she. She didn't know how to tell you, but I confirmed it myself. from your wife so it doesn't wreck your marriage but since the, the the rape is going to produce a child we thought it wise to let you know yes This is the one you promised me, Ray! Ray! Sabo, Ray! No, I'm not gonna have this. No, leave me alone! Stop. You know I'm sorry. You know, oh God, God. My heart. I'm dying, my heart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if, if I'm sorry. Honestly, I could have sworn that nothing happened between us that night. Because I can't remember a thing. I'm sorry. I pleaded. I struggled, but you insisted and kept on pushing till you had your way. I'm sorry. Sorry won't change anything. The deed has already been done. If I... If I... I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I, I understand. I understand what you're going through. If you decide to keep the pregnancy, 
which is what I want you to do. I'm going to take care of you and the baby. Samuel, I don't need your money. I can take care of myself and my baby. The only thing I regret is losing the friendship I had with your wife. I know. It's all my fault. I'm the one to blame for this whole thing. I, I, I brought this whole thing upon myself. If anyone right now, the whole world is crushing on me. I'm about to lose everything. Please forgive me. Please. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I, it's not who I am. Please. I'm sorry. I forgive you. But as for this child, I am not giving it to you. I'm leaving town. I'm living far away from here where I'll give birth to my child and raise him or her. I can't be the one to wreck your marriage. Go and save your marriage, Samuel. I wish you all the best. shouldn't have gotten involved in raping a woman. I'm really I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I've gone to Ife Yuma. She forgive me. Please. Then you should bring her in and send the Baron me away. No, no, honey, no. Don't say that. You're not Baron. My wife is not Baron. I can never be. I don't want to marry another woman. She's not interested as well. She's leaving town. What about the baby? She... She says she's going to keep the baby. But she's going to keep the baby far away from me because she doesn't want to be the one to wreck our marriage. Honey, I'm sorry. I was strong. I wouldn't have gone to her house. She, she, she should have dropped me on the road anyway. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a rapist. You're not the man you married. I am not a rapist, love. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have listened to that prophet. He deceived me. He almost ruined my marriage. I'm sorry. I, I am. It's okay. Same here. I'm sorry. Johnita. I really. I do love you. I love you. I love you more. I, I, I promise you that henceforth, 
the whatever decision or whatever idea that comes into my dumb brain. I am going to run it by you first. Because I want this to work. I'm sorry, please. It's okay. It's okay. And for the adoption thing, if you're still interested, just give me a nod, please. Blessings I